Hydrogen uh, is non-polluting when it's burnt because it just produces water. But there isn't any hydrogen in the world uh, in the form of free hydrogen. There's lots of hydrogen in the water, like in the lake we're sitting next to. It's uh, two atoms in every molecule of water, or hydrogen atoms. But uh, according to a principle, the conservation of energy, it takes just a little, just exactly as much energy to break up the water into hydrogen and oxygen as you get when you burn the hydrogen uh, to run a car. So it's not a source of energy, it's a way of packaging energy. And it may be in the future a very useful way of packaging energy that uh, takes the place of gasoline. Uh, it won't solve our energy problem. Be and it may not solve the pollution problem or the global warming problem. If you, you, if you burn coal in order to produce the electricity to break up the water into hydrogen and oxygen, you're putting into the air more carbon because of the necessary inefficiencies of the process. You're putting into the air more carbon than you would if you just burned the petroleum in your car engine. So hydrogen is not a solution to global warming at all if the source of the energy is going to be fossil fuel. Now, there are other sources of energy, and maybe down the road you can imagine an economy in which we get energy from thermonuclear power and then use that energy to break up water into hydrogen and oxygen and use the hydrogen uh, as a fuel. And that's possible, but it's a long way down the road. We ought to work on it, but no one should think, as the present administration, the Bush administration, uh, seems to be giving the impression that this is the way uh, to deal with the energy problem. We don't have to worry about anything else. All we have to do is mumble the words hydrogen and all problems are solved, because they're not. We don't know how to make thermonuclear power work now. Um, there's a joke among physicists who work on thermonuclear power that thermonuclear power is 20 years away from being a thermonuclear, from being a practical reality. It always has been and it always will be. <laughs>